good evening guys so welcome back in this video we can see the diagrammatic representation of capnography so what is capnography capnography is a device which is used in anesthesia to find out uh, expiratory co2 etco2 okay so what is the use of finding this we can see in 5 minutes you will be well versed in this topic in 5 minutes time i'm sure about that so first etco2 can be divided into hypocapnia hypercapnia yes this hypocapnia or hypercapnia this two can be occur suddenly or gradually okay so let's divide this sudden gradual sudden gradual okay if it is occurring suddenly that is if there is a hypocapnia and that is occurring suddenly so suddenly it can be decreased or it can become zero there are two possibilities so let's draw the diagram first suddenly if etco2 is coming like this or it has the possibility of coming to zero point yes it stops here there are two possibilities in sudden hypocapnia one is it decreases to certain point or it can become zero so what will be the reason for this yes if the question describes any history of surgery done in sitting position yes i hope you got the answer the answer is pulmonary embolism okay then what will be the answer for this when it suddenly drops to zero that is etco2 suddenly drops to zero then means zero then means there is disconnection of the circuit if there is a sudden disconnection of the circuit or there can be a possibility of sudden cardiac arrest i hope you understand yes the next is what if the etco2 gradually gets reduced let's draw the diagram first yes this is what i meant gradually getting reduced then there are two possibilities one is hypotension the next is hyperventilation in hyperventilation there will be an increased wash out of etco2 so as the time gradually increases uh, the expired etco2 will become less so that's the reason for this so gradual decreasing okay the next is gradually it becomes zero so what can be the reason for this this diagram yes it's a wrong intubation esophageal intubation yes we have completed hypocapnia four possibilities in a single go yes then we going to see 
ஹைப்பர் கேப்னியா ஓகே லெட்ஸ் டூ திஸ் இன் அ செப்பரேட் லைன் ஃபார் கிளியர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஹைப்பர் கேப்னியா எஸ் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹாவ் டிவைடட் திஸ் இன்டு சடன் அண்ட் கிராஜுவல் எஸ் வாட் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் அ சடன் ஹைப்பர் கேப்னியா இன் த இடிசிஓ டூ மிஷின் வாட் கேன் பி த பாசிபிலிட்டி எஸ் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் அ ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் இன்ட்ராப் ஃபைண்டிங் லைக் திஸ் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஐ ஹோப் யூ காட் ஆன்சர் எஸ் மெலிக்னன்ட் ஹைப்பர் தெர்மியா த நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் If the chart is like this, suddenly it becomes hypercapnic. Yes, this occurs during CPR and this describes the return of spontaneous circulation. Okay, the next is gradual. What if the chart like this? Yes, it is gradually becoming hypercapnic. That is, ETCO2 is released more and more. So, what can be the reason for this? It is just opposite to hyperventilation we have seen before. So, the answer is hypoventilation. So, that's the answer. The next is, in this chart, yes the graph is not touching the baseline this means there is a rebreathing occurring in the circuit yes if it does not touches the baseline it describes there is a rebreathing in the circuit yes i hope you understand that's it this is hypercapnia and here hypocapnia along with hypercapnia due to the limited space here i have uh, done hypercapnia in the next page i hope you understand thank you